wanted to give you guys a little bit of a life update. Um, so I sound like a frog, a man, I don't really know. I sound awful. So I was out yesterday. Yesterday was Monday, today is Tuesday. <laughs> and I was out yesterday sick. Sunday I felt like the absolute worst that I have felt in a very long time. So I decided towards the very evening when I wasn't getting any better, I said, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and call in. So I ended up getting a sub, um, got together all my things, came in early yesterday morning, dropped my stuff off, um, and then I went home and I just sat. <laughs> I was really bored and I was kind of lonely. <laughs> um, but as you can see guys, I am back. I have a new camera, which I'm pretty excited about. I'm a little bummed that I had to go out and actually buy a new camera this soon. Um, but I am excited about having a new camera. So I have a new camera. It's Tuesday. I'm going to make the best of it as much as I can. Hopefully I won't get as tired. I just have to take it slow and ease my way back in because my body gets so this morning, the sub yesterday was a sub that we have in the building quite often, and he is great. He came in, my room was nice and neat, everything was put together. I just love that feeling. I love it when a sub has everything the way that you want to have it, and he did just that for me. So my room was absolutely perfect when I came in. I was able to ease on in, especially with me kind of coming in a little bit later than normal. It took me a while to get going this morning. Um, but everything is pretty much ready to go. I have a pretty low key day today. Um, we are taking our grammar test for the grammar boot camp that we did last week. And then we are also doing some IXL for math and some different things to get our kind of our workshop going in progress. I do have to start doing running records for DRAs this week so that we can start putting them into groups. Our plan is to hopefully have groups rolling out next week. That means that we have a ton of work to do. I have a few more math tests that I need to grade and I will show you guys some of those things and kind of how we're thinking about grouping our kids with four, five, and six um, because there is a method to the madness, I promise you. And this week is gonna be just flat out nuts. My 10 year old is turning 11 and my mom and my dad are coming from Alabama on Thursday and I'm having a family gathering on Friday evening to be able to celebrate his birthday. And uh, yeah, it's, it's like it's a busy busy week we're trying to get some of the house things done um to kind of get ready for this like everybody coming and you know joining us for dinner so lots of things going on right now i don't need to be feeling like this <laughs> this morning i have a collab with specialists so i'm gonna get ready to go to my collab and then i will catch up with you guys a little bit later on it is the last break for the day and what i think is gonna happen right now is my phone is gonna ring and i'm gonna have to pause it's now much later in the afternoon. Actually, it's about 15 after five at the moment. Um, we just got done placing all 71 of our kids into math small groups, which <laughs> was so hard trying to figure out where to put everybody, where to start everyone. But we finally were able to do it, which is really, really nice. Um, so the kids were able to take an assessment based off of like third through fifth grade standards. And then we kind of looked at what they actually needed. And just on like teacher judgment calls, figured out what could be review, what could be something that they absolutely have to have in order to be able to move on. And so we have kids kind of everywhere. <laughs> Sorry I'm breathing so hard. But after um, being sick, like I'm just like huffing and puffing every time. It's just no bueno. Um, so I am going to be taking quite a bit of the incoming fourth graders. So they're going to be on place value when we start next week. So I'm going to do probably one or two, uh, lessons that are whole group and then kind of figure out and do a quick check so that they can, so I can figure out where they are and then start moving them into smaller groups once they start to kind of zoom past. So that's what I'm going to be working on. Um, my partner from last year. She's going to be starting some of the kids in fourth grade, and then she's also getting um, a couple of the fifth graders, and then so on and so forth. So we figured out where everyone's starting, which is really nice because now we can start planning some of our math lessons. So you guys know that at the very beginning of the year, it's all about the survival life, right? Okay, well, I'm about to leave the survival day today because one partner is out all day today and the second partner is out in the a.m. so she will only be back for the p.m. so it is me two subs and 71 kids yep that's how i feel 
so today is all about survival luckily i sat down with my partners we came up with a game plan we're going to stay in our home rooms for the majority of the morning um i think the only thing that we're going to switch for is reading and my second partner will be back during that time so it won't be me and two subs trying to switch 71 kids which is already difficult as it as it is because our students have not mastered the put your things in the right class bucket <laughs> so <laughs> that's kind of how I'm feeling I also have a very bad headache and stuffy nose and all that good jazz that comes along with allergies and just not feeling well <sighs> and my mom comes tomorrow <laughs> I know I keep telling you guys this but y'all my mom comes tomorrow my mom and dad are coming and I have nothing ready I need to go to the grocery store really really bad yesterday was the plan to go to the grocery store but I got home and then I got lazy and then I didn't go this time I have my game plan all set up so I do have my grocery list ready to go and I do need to go to the grocery store right after work all right let's get in there let's get our head in the game take some Tylenol let's make a cup of coffee and get to work so my day for the most part is extremely low-key especially with not having two of my teachers here with me um, because they already have everything planned out for me, which I'm like, oh, then what am I gonna do today? <laughs> um, so for math this morning, we're gonna be doing an all about me activity. Ooh, let's see. So my partner, um, who was my math partner last year, she created an all about me. So they have like a little planning page for them. Uh, we had to make this a little bit different than most thing you can find out there because it had to accommodate fourth, fifth, and sixth grade levels. So they have a planning first draft page, which they're gonna have to create the number, then they're gonna have to tell us the number sentence for it. Um, and then the final all about me page is going to be this little guy right here. Um, so that's kind of what they're working on this morning. They're gonna finish this. And then this afternoon, we're doing a writing assessment so we can get our kids into our groups for next week. We have math groups done, which is really exciting. I'm working on fourth grade place value. So those are gonna kind of be my focus groups and then they're gonna start getting pushed out everywhere else. I'm doing this this morning, very excited about. I didn't have to plan it. <laughs> the writing assessment, didn't have to plan it. And then all I have to do is reading, which reading is so low key. You know, you enjoy your book. You talk about like visualizing. It's great, it's fine. So that is kind of the plan for right now. Um, I still have yet to make my coffee. I have a few little things that I just need to get cleaned up that I still wasn't able to get cleaned up from last week. So I'm gonna work on that for a little bit and then just kind of ease into the day. I mean, it's a good day. We're gonna ease into it. It's gonna be great. Husband is about to save the day because he's gonna go to Sam's. He's gonna pick me up some uh, page protectors for my binders, which means that I will be able to get them done over one of my breaks. Not having like my partners here, I feel like I have <laughs> so much free time. <laughs> um, so here are all the things that I need to kind of get inside of it. So we did like the growth mindset lessons to, and some of those like extra papers that I have in here. Um, the paper cups challenge, which was a STEM activity that's in there as well. We have the iPad expectations. Like all of this stuff is like things at the beginning of the year. These were done from the grammar boot camp. Um, we have the information pages that we handed out to parents. These are other copies. We have like the Rise and Shine journals that we started them off, off at the beginning of the year. Um, we're doing islands this week, so I have a few that are copied um, to give them as like examples for them. So we have some of the islands. And then I have, again, this one's from the Verb Battleship game, and this is from the Grammar Boot Camp. Um, I have all of the little Grammar Boot Camp materials that are in here as well. This one was from uh, Back to School Night for parents, so they can actually ask us questions off to the side um, and write them down. Here's an example, Rise and Shine journal that we were using with them. Some of the I need to know blank before I can blank, and this was from the growth mindset lessons and uh, just a bunch of other little things that I just need to get sorted out so all this junk has to go in that wish me luck so there may be a little bit of a hiccup <laughs> with today my one of my partner's subs has not arrived yet Ooh, 
cool. We're gonna make it work. It's gonna be totally fine. So I have my morning message up ready to go. I'm gonna show it to you guys so that you can see what I wrote down for today. So my morning message is up and ready to go. Unfortunately, I can't really show it to you because it has a lot of names in it, but I will read my message for you because I feel like I was being, I don't know, it was a, like a cute message. I don't know, I thought it was cute. So it says, happy hum day. Can you believe how hot it has gotten the past few days? Where did the fall weather go? Fall is my favorite season of the year. I love the colors, the smells, foods, and of course the cool weather and family gatherings over a fire. What is your favorite season and why write it on a sticky note and place it on the board today our class will look and sound a little bit different we will be spending the majority of the day in our home rooms since my tea partners are out it always seems impossible until it is done which is a quote that I found on the internet <laughs> warmly mrs. Backman so that is what I have I am slowly starting to wean them onto some more um, morning work options so my partners are not my partners and myself, my partners and I, uh, decided to try to implement soft starts because I truly and honestly am one of those people that I don't like to pass. <laughs> so I am definitely, sorry, <laughs> one of my partner came in. Um, she has to go to a meeting this morning. That's why she's out in the morning. So I am definitely one of those type of people that I like to come in and I like to kind of have like an easy start to the day. I like something that I'm not coming in and I'm not like jamming myself like, oh, I need to get to the mini or, oh, I need to get all this stuff together. I don't like to feel rushed and I don't like to feel like I have to get things done immediately as soon as I come in. I like an easy, slow, ease into the day kind of start. So we are wanting to do the exact same things with our students, kind of doing the stop, soft start um, morning work methods so lately we've been having them read write or draw being with the like they're artistic some of them are very very artistic and they enjoy doing that today I'm also going to allow them to do some origami so that's going to be another option I'll let you guys know how it ends up going um, but we have an app on our iPad that the kids can download that they use for art class um, and they're going to have the opportunity to be able to do that now the restrictions are is that they're not allowed to talk during any of this so <laughs> we'll see how well it works out today I'm hoping it does and then I'm gonna be implementing some new ones so like every day I'm gonna kind of show them another option that's gonna be available to them so that's kind of the game plan I'm gonna get ready started for the day sub is here everything's fine so we're gonna keep rolling with what we have I will talk to you guys during my lunch break <laughs> trying to get my lights on here we go um super quick catch up I feel awful. My head is so pounding. I've tried to be without the lights today, but it's just hasn't been helping. Um, so I feel awful. <laughs> I really, really, really want to go home right now and just kind of lay down and not do anything, but I desperately need to go to the grocery store. And today was very, was a very talkative day. And I don't know if that's just part of like my patient and just me not feeling well and all the other things combined that I'm just not doing well. So I told you guys I was gonna to talk to you guys about this morning and I told you guys that I was gonna to talk to you guys. Why do I do that? Why do I repeat myself 1500 times? I told you guys that I was going to uh, talk to you about uh, morning work this morning and how I said that we were trying to do a soft start. Well, my kids lost it already. <laughs> uh, we've been doing reading, writing and drawing, like creative drawing. Uh, however, today we came in, we were very, very loud, so I gave them their journals, which I really like having these just on the side to be able to whip them out for occasions like this. So this morning they had to write a paragraph with first, next, then last, explaining the expectations of walking into a classroom. Um, so that was their morning work. Uh, this afternoon, uh, tomorrow, I told them that they have now lost the afternoon and being able to do things because a lot of them are not doing anything so I'm gonna have another journal prompt something with reflections just having them reflect on the day and writing that stuff down but something to get them busy um, and then I've also said that I was just gonna have a few people that are elected to be able to help me clean up there are a few kids that do really really well as far as um, getting their work done staying on task not talking paying attention so those are going to be the kids that i choose to kind of help me walk around the room clean up that type of thing for the end of the day so that's kind of how my day went <laughs> um for math we did the all about me so they did really well with that so i was pretty pleased with it they also had a writing assessment during writing so we're going to assess them place them into the three groups for the classes uh and then in reading we talked about visualizing which is one of my favorite lessons to talk about when it comes to strategies for readers uh so we used the book fireflies which was really great for visualizing um 
And then let me show it to you. So this is the book Fireflies. It's by Julie Brinklow, which it's, I think it's spelled, bring, I pronounced Brinklow. My apologies if I'm not pronouncing it correct. But it's about a little boy right here. You can already see where you kind of implement some of that visualizing. On a summer evening, I looked up from dinner through the open window to the backyard. After I read that very first three lines, I paused and I said, guys, I really want you to, like, in my head, I just want to talk to you about what I visualize. You know, I can see them and I kind of modeled. I showed them how I kind of sat at the table looking out the window, the window half up, the curtains falling down, the breeze coming through, you know, the sun sunset and the colors everything that I can visualize I said he's eating dinner like in my head I'm thinking he's e eating chicken fried steak with some mashed potatoes and <laughs> like that type of thing and like already the kids were like salivating like, like oh my gosh that's so good so we talked about that I had them go back out they used a strategy on a sticky note we came back together after reading which is so important to me I feel like coming together after you do your reading um, strategy and you have them go out and practice it come back together and have a few kids share so some kids got to stand up in front of the class share part of the text that they had read and some of the things that they visualized from it which I think was really great and powerful for them but that was pretty much all we did today because we didn't have a ton going on I think I'm gonna spend about 15 minutes I'm gonna do a power cleanup in 15 minutes and then after that I'm gonna get ready to go home so that I can go to the grocery store and then hopefully get some rest because I was not feeling good. Can you see it? Like, look around my eyes. You can see that I'm just like, I feel like I look pale too. Like, I just don't feel good. So, let's get to clean. 15 minutes, we could do this. And then I get to leave. What time is it? Ooh, it's exactly four o'clock. I mean, not too shabby, right? So this is now cleared off. I have only my laptop, my iPad, Apple TV note, uh, remote, and then I also have my chime there, and then everything else is kind of cleared off from the bottom, which is good. Um, I have my planner here ready to go, and then a book that I was reading up here as well stage is all cleared off um these are the folders that we're using to put the kids work outside we have to put labels on them at the bottom so i am going to start working on some of those so that we can get their work outside in the hallway and then these are going to be the folders that we're using for reading and math so ela and math that's going to hold all of their assessments for the year so the way that us we're going to have to do it is we are um going to have the folders of the kids that we have in our class when we're ready to switch our groups around and move them to another teacher we're going to hand those teachers those folders so that they have all of their assessments their notes for that specific kid um and then kind of you know rotate them around but that was the easiest way for us to think of it so i have the math pre-assessments that we have here those are going to go inside of the folders once i get those labeled so those have to get done pretty soon as well um, i might actually take the sticker papers now that i'm thinking of it <laughs> Let's grab some sticker paper. Whoa. Let's see. Where are those? Ooh. Is there enough in there? Oh yeah, that's plenty. I'm gonna make some labels tonight, put their names on it so that I can just add their names onto their folders and we can have those ready to go um, tomorrow morning to put their assessments in and I can get those organized. So that's gonna go in this home pile. Now I can shut this and move this back. Okay, so that's pretty much ready to go. Everything else has been kind of cleared off. I did not go through my inbox. I need to finish that. I'm gonna actually do that in the morning, so I'm not gonna deal with that right now because I'm tired and not feeling well. So let's turn these lights off. Lights are off. Stuff is ready. I have journals ready for tomorrow morning. I need to actually take those home so I can measure them. Um, journals are gonna be ready for tomorrow morning to hand out to students for them to do for morning work. And then everything else for the most part is kind of cleared off. I honestly just need to go home and probably take some like allergy, sinus medicine, cold medicine. I'm not really sure to be honest. I need to take some type of medicine. 
So I need to take some medicine. Um, get some rest, hopefully a little bit more rest than what I did the other days. <laughs> hopefully not have any dreams about crocodiles, alligators. Was it crocodiles or alli alligators? Alligators eating people. <laughs> there has to be some weird meaning behind that, right? Right? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start heading out, turning off all my lights. And I guess I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> Last night I went home, y'all I had the biggest headache. It was a struggle going to bed, finally fell asleep. And I woke up this morning still not feeling my absolute best, but I don't have the headache that I had last night. Although I do still feel some pain like right in this kind of area right here. So you need to take some more medicine. So this morning I am kind of hungry. I'm gonna stop and get myself something to eat. My, my mom and my dad are flying in today so they are gonna be at home right after school. So I have a few things that I really, really need to get done th today. I'm gonna be on a time crunch. I'm gonna have a lot of things that I need to finish so that I can be prepared for next week. So let's go grab something to eat and then head back to the school and get busy. <laughs> Can I get a turkey sausage, egg, and cheese on an English muffin, please? Thank you, ma'am. Have a good one. Okay, so this morning I have a few things that I need to take care of. One, I need to put the labels onto my folders that I was showing you guys yesterday to do their portfolios for reading and for writing, or writing, reading, ELA, and for math. And then I also have to, I have got the page protectors. My husband went out to Sam's, purchased some page protectors for me so that I can get my binders put away because it's driving me nuts having them here. So I need to do that as well. And then I also have rotations that I need to set up for math. So today for math, we are introducing kind of our workshop um, goal work model. So we have different types of goal work that the students are gonna be doing, error analysis, they have uh, puzzles and games and things to that extent that we want them to be able to work on independently. So we have a bunch of different ones that we're gonna model, showing them how to put them up, how to put them away, how to use them, how to record their information, all that good stuff. So that is what we're doing today. I spent a lot last night with my husband. We were watching, oh my gosh, it was such a good show. What movie was it? Uh, I gotta feel like I need to call him. <laughs> Hold on, let's call him so I can figure out what movie it is. Hello. Hi. Um, so what was the movie called that we were watching last night? What movie? The movie that we were watching. The one with the cook. And the guy. Uh, who's crazy. Burnt or burned or something. Burnt or burned? It's on Netflix? Yeah. Right? It's at the tale of Despero. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just, I said burnt and he said tale of Despero. <laughs> How does that have anything to do with it? Okay, so burnt or burned? Yeah. Okay. With Bradley Cooper. With Bradley Cooper. Okay. Love you. Love you. Bye. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so that is what we were watching last night. It was really, really, really good to the point where my husband was like, focus, Bridget. <laughs> like, cut as you're watching the movie or you're not going to be allowed to watch the movie anymore. So uh, <laughs> we finally got everything cut out as, just as far as the puzzles. Um, my other partner is doing the sort. And then she got the error analysis. And then their kids are also doing something called IXL off of their iPads. So that is kind of the plan. I... I had a really bad, bad headache, but I was able to at least watch a movie. <laughs> you're probably like, that's not that bad of a headache if you're watching a movie. I am going to go print out these labels really fast so that I can get them on the folders. That way I can get the assessments sorted into their folders and then we have some place to be able to keep them. Um, and then I'm going to start working on the... Uh, page protectors and getting those put away. So I will catch up with you guys in just a second once I go get those things printed. You better grab a tambourine Bring a bass, we might be wicked We may be forced to cause a scene Make some trouble, baby Ooh, I never touch my children Am I getting a pimple right there? No. Why does it look like I have a pimple? Why does it look like I have a dent? What's wrong with it? It does look darkened. Did you like rub your forehead right? or something? You see it? It's, it's like, like right dark. there. Do you see that? Is it like, or is that just on camera? Like, look at it on camera. I think it's a shadow. 
I am currently on my lunch break and really quick I wanted to show you guys our stromboli. My partners and I we need to do a little bit of planning for next week so we're about to do that while we kind of like dig in over our meal but our school makes the best stromboli and I just want to make you guys just a little bit jelly of how amazing my food is today. Look at that stromboli. Isn't it delicious? Yep. That's gonna be in my belly. It was a busy but really good day overall. The kids did a great job in our workshops. Um, they love to read. I love it when kids love to read. They just wanna sit and read the entire time, which I am all about. Uh, I did wanna show you guys something that we did for math. So in math, we talked about our goal work and some of the activities that they have to do independently to show that they're mastering certain skills. So, if I can eventually get there. Where is it at? Apparently I made a lot of anchor charts today. Oh my goodness, okay. I thought this was, was a really great idea and uh, my kid did a really great idea. Um, not like my son, but one of my students in my class. So I had actually a kid who was kind of our recorder for the class. So the things that I was talking about, I was modeling for them and showing them because we talked about goal work. Um, I wanted to her to create an anchor chart for me. So check out her little anchor chart that she made. So um, I helped her with the folders which is all what that we got done today and like talked about turning in talked about what goal work was and that type of um that type of information that I wanted to kind of get across so she did such a great job of creating this little anger chart I was very very proud of her so I thought that was a really great idea now I will say that she was one of the students that I had last year so she also knew a lot of the expectations already but it was really nice to be able to put her up there and say hey I want you to go ahead and you know write down all of the things that I talk about within this so that we can put it up and have it as an anger chart. Um, I also wanted to take a note. I created a lot of anger charts today. It's like anger chart galore. <laughs> but in morning meeting, I also took the time to talk about using our brains and actually thinking. My students don't really do problem and solutions very well, so we went through some problems that I've been hearing a lot over the past couple of weeks, and then we came up with some of the solutions. Actually, no, I told them quite a few of the solutions so that I didn't have to hear them anymore. So let me show you guys exactly what problems we thought we discussed today. Now, my little anchor chart actually was super, super cute, and then all of a sudden I get down here and I started messing up. <laughs> I don't know where my brain was. Um, so for one problem is I can't find my work. What do I do? I'm finished. What do I do? Where does this go? And then may I go to the bathroom? So these were just some of the things that we started coming up with. Um, I wrote out this little think anchor chart. This is going to be like redone <laughs> and then I'm going to post it up to my kids. We can keep adding to it uh, throughout the year as we're starting to find some of these issues that we are kind of encountering inside of the classroom. So that was one of them. Let's just go through all my anchor charts. Then I had the math one. Um, in writing, we read a book. Where's my book? It is such a cute little book. It's by Lane Smith. Oh my goodness. Um, this is the little book right here. It's Grandpa Green by Lane Smith, and it's about a little boy who starts kind of telling about his grandfather and just gives me, give us a lot of information about him and about how he gets older. So it kind of opened up the conversation of family members and how those family members really contribute to our stories and our um, the stories that we just want to tell, like within our writing. So then we started coming up with, I told them that you guys were going to write about important people. So we came up with mom, um, the time, and I kind of modeled the, somebody who was important in my life and then came up with three story ideas. Same for my husband, came up with three story ideas. So the kids had to come up with people that they um, were really, really important and come up with some stories to tell for that. The end of the day went so much better today. Um, yesterday was a little bit of a rough day for us, just kind of the morning and the afternoon, coming in and getting straight to work, not really having that much of a discussion. This afternoon, I told the kids, I was like, we're breaking it down. You're doing writing, you're doing math, you're doing reading, and you're telling me one question that you had during that subject and two things that you learned from the day and then I want you to write a paragraph summary of how the day went. Um, so I think I got my point across because they were fantastic this afternoon. They were all on task, they were quiet, they were eating their snacks, everything was getting cleaned up. I was very content with the way the day ended. Uh, so I need to get going because my parents are gonna be getting into town pretty soon. I need to run to Target and then I wanna get home to make sure everything is pretty much ready to go and then I can greet them there. So 
I am gonna go run out and I will catch you guys later on. I have just made it to school. It is about 6.40 in the morning. I'm a little bit later than normal because I forgot to put my alarm on last night. I guess I must have been really, really tired and all I wanted to do is just lay down and sleep and not worry about alarms. <laughs> or maybe I was hoping that it was gonna be Saturday. I don't know, it's one or the other. Anyway, so I woke up at six o'clock with my husband's alarm. Typically I wake up about 5.20, 5.30. Yeah, that didn't happen. Luckily, I did not have to wash my hair this morning. My hair was on a non-wash day, so I was able to get ready pretty fast. I'm just a little bit later than I normally am. Not a big deal, because I'm just gonna ease into the day. It is my son's 11th birthday, 11 years old. I cannot believe I have an 11 year old. Um, my mom and my dad make it into, made it into town really late last night. They had some issues with traffic, like going on their way going to Atlanta, and then um, they missed a few of their flights. So <laughs> they got here a little bit later than normal than what was kind of expected in the beginning, but they did make it here safely, which is what's important. Um, so Ian's going to be spending the day with him. He's a lucky dog because his school closed all for his birthday. Not true. Today they're having a professional development day for their teachers, so Ian gets to stay at home and just kind of like relax with his with his nana and granddad. Uh, Blaine is gonna be going to school for a little bit and I think they're gonna go pick him up so that they can give Ian some quality quiet time. Because a three-year-old has a tendency to like take over everyone <laughs> that's around him. Before I got started with the day, I really wanted to show you guys my outfit. <laughs> so I was walking in Target the other day, I found this really, really cute skirt and I was determined to try to wear it today. So I, other than like the top part of it, maybe I have worn this outfit twice this week. I wore kind of the same, great, I wore this exact same sweater, y'all wear things over and over again. I wore this exact same sweater but I had on a different white t-shirt. This one has like white and gray on the front and back. but. I mean, other than that, the skirt's different, so it makes it a different outfit. <laughs> and the shirt. The cardigan is the only thing that's the same. Okay, so let me show you guys my outfit. It's a very long skirt, but what I thought was so cool is that it has like this big, this slit that's right here down the middle, and it has all these little buttons down here as well. So I just, I wore the skirt, I put on a short sleeve shirt, it has white and gray on the back. I've had this for flipping ever, like probably since I was 20. And then I put on the same gray cardigan that I have, like it's a, just a classic gray cardigan from Banana Republic that I've had forever as well. So I think it's super cute, it's really comfy. Apparently <laughs> we're getting a heat wave <laughs> because it's like in the 80s. Where's my fall weather y'all? I just don't understand. Why can't it be cold already? <sighs> I think I look super cute. Let me give you like this little angle here. Like look at that. Isn't that cute? I thought it was super cute. So, I wanted to share that with you. You probably don't care. <laughs> but I'm gonna pretend that you do. <laughs> All right, so I need to unload my stuff that I have and then hopefully get a couple of things done this morning. I think I have a faculty meeting at eight o'clock. That's okay, we're gonna make it. Faculty meeting at eight, I can get some stuff done. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, so really quick I wanted to show you, I made my anchor chart called the hashtag the struggle is we real. I totally feel like this has been my, re my week, my week, I can't talk. Um, I feel like this has totally been my week because I've been sick and so it's been so hard to be motivated and like the moment that my body like feels a little bit better and I start doing stuff, I get really hot and tired and just like I just need to sit. So hashtag the struggle's real for me <laughs> this week. That's what my week has been like, just with being sick and everything. Anyway, um, so it's hashtag the struggle is real and we're gonna talk about different things that we can do whenever we are coming to a point where we are stuck in math. Um, so yesterday, I can show this to you. Um, my partner has spent so much labor of love doing these this summer, but she has created goal work. And this one is for place value. Um, each 
shape will represent a different grade level. So I think this is fifth grade, squares are fifth grade. And uh, inside of it, they have different skills that they have to be able to complete in order to be able to master the place value unit. And so this one is like rounding decimals and it has different activities, things that they can do. And then it also has like IXL levels in there. So inside of this file folder, they're gonna find all of the games for these. So the kids get to do these once a day and they're doing it on their own for independent practice. So we figured that would be important. Today we're gonna actually practice having some of those rotations. Um, typically in math, they're not gonna have rotations, but we wanna kinda get them used to uh, different types of games and things that they're gonna see. So the kids are gonna be able to do a puzzle today, a sort, they're gonna do a error analysis, and they're gonna have IXL time. So we wanted to talk about what do we do when we get stuck? So I have three guiding questions. What is struggle time? And then what do you do when you struggle? And then what do you not do when you're struggling? So this is kind of going to be a starter for us this morning. And then we're just going to lead right into math. All right. I got my math assessments sorted into the folders. Those are all labeled with the students' names. I do need to get some things sorted in for the green folders and then get those handed out to the teachers, um, to the three of us that are going to have which kids next week. Um, and then the red ones are going to be for writing that was the additional folder that I needed to get just to be able to hold their writing so we're gonna have kind of three sets of kids we'll have a math set an ELA like or a reading set my apologies a math set a reading set and then a writing set as well so this one needs to get labeled and then I need to put their writing assessments in there and get those out to my other two teacher friends so that's almost done I'm finished hopefully with that later this afternoon. And then here, um, the kids are doing a journal prompt just because we weren't able to come in and make choices for ourselves. So therefore, the kids are gonna be working on a, write a story using the emoji clip art in place of the words that the emoji represents. Be creative. So I have emoji clip art that I'm printing out. Those are gonna get cut out and placed here so the students will know exactly where to get them. I also need to put out a bucket. Then the students will also place their black folders here because today is Dojo Percentages Day. The kids have to show their we have to write their dojo percentages in it and then they have to get it signed so let me find I guess I'm just gonna use a sticky note that shall work I just simply labeled it black folder goes here take one that's gonna be where the emojis are take one that's for the labels and then also to for them to find their folders so that is all set and ready to go for this morning I have about 15 minutes left before I need to get to my morning meeting I'm gonna sharpen my pencils get some coffee and then that'll let me kind of ease in <laughs> to my morning at this point so I'm gonna do that hopefully I'll talk to you guys during my lunch break so I know that I told you guys that I wasn't gonna talk to you until my lunchtime but oh my gosh, I got the best surprise ever on the face of the planet. So my partner from last year comes into my room and she was like, I have something for you and please don't think that you have to like say yes to it. And she like whips out this. Look at him, isn't he gorgeous? He's reading a book, look at his eyes. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. Totally fits with my fantasy room, right? I could not believe it. I loved it. I know my face was probably like, <gasps> I cannot believe it. I love it so much. I just needed to show that to you and like share in my excitement because I thought it was super, super cute. Her brother-in-law apparently is like cleaning out some old stuff and that was in one of his old things. So she gave, she's gave, she gave it to me to have it in my classroom. I'm so excited. And just like that, the day is finally over. I'm so sorry I did not get to talk to you guys over our breaks. I was really, really busy just trying to get a lot of things done for next week. Did not have time to like sit down. This is the final call for all bus riders. Did not have time to sit down at all. Um, I am heading out. It is literally like we are dismissing right now, but my class is already gone. I'm leaving because I wanna go and get things ready for my son's birthday party. I don't think I'm gonna vlog anymore. If I do, then it's gonna be up on a different day. I don't think I'm gonna put it up for this weekend. I just don't have the time and I need to get this video up for tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and end you guys here. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it out, subscribe if you haven't already, and welcome to my channel. And I will talk to you guys next week. You better Bye. turn up. There we go. You better be there
Ian, what do you want for your birthday? How old are you? Happy birthday, dude.